do because he thought the master wasn't coming back again. Began to eat and drink with the wicked. Amen. Then the master came when he least expected it and appointed him a portion with the wicked. He was sent straight to hell. Read on there again. The end of that verse. That except there come a falling away first. Except there come a falling away first. That's a backsliding. That's going back into the world. Amen. Read a little further there, my brother. Except there come a falling away first. Yes. And that man of sin. And that man of sin. Be revealed. Be revealed. The son of perdition. The son of perdition devil himself. Incarnate in flesh, in man, in the presence of man, the devil himself. Amen. You hear what it says? That's apostasy. That's men who have the truth, hold the truth, but are not living it. Except they come a falling away first, they determine in their hearts they're not going to live. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth of God in unrighteousness. Do you understand the condition we're in? Do you understand why the church is in the condition it's in? Look now. You understand why the false churches are so big? And the true churches are so small. Amen. Huh? Scripture talks about the little flock. Yeah. Wonder why does Jesus say we're two or three? Yeah. Not ten, not one hundred, not ten thousand, but we're two or three. Yeah. Not a million, not a hundred thousand, not fifty thousand, but we're two or three are gathered together, touching anything concerning my name. There am I in the midst. Amen. 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 Go with me, just jump over there to 2 Timothy. Go forward there to 2 Timothy, chapter 4. 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 3. 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 3. Without natural affection. Oh, hold on now. 2 Timothy 4, verse 3. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 3. For the time. There we are, my brother. Read on. For the time will come. For the time will come. When they will not endure. When they will not endure. Sound doctrine. They won't want the word of God. That's what it means. They won't endure sound doctrine. Means they won't want the word of God. Not the way it's been written. But the way it's been rewritten by them, that's all right. But not the way it's been written by God. Where the scripture says, all scripture is, is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, instruction, and, right, and correction and righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. They are wanted the way it's been rewritten. The new international version. The Oxford International Version. You name it, they've got it. But not one of them is true. Amen. Now it's good to say that they will not endure sound doctrine. They won't want you to preach the scriptures. They won't want to hear them. Read on, brother. For the time will come when they will not endure. They will not endure. Sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. But after, but after them, their own lusts, their own lusts, shall they heap to themselves, heap to themselves, teachers, yeah, having itching ears, yeah. That's all they want is people they can surround themselves with that tell them what they want to hear. Read on, and they shall turn away. They shall do what? Turn away. They will turn away from. Their ears from the truth. Turn away their ears 
from the truth. They won't want to hear it. They won't want it. They don't want it anymore now anyway. But imagine you're preaching the truth. They don't want it. When Noah was telling the people to get right with God because it was going to rain. How many people were there? The scripture said only six souls were saved. Six or eight. Eight souls were saved. Amen. Amen. Not many. Well, where did all the others go? All those other thousands of people, where did they go? The vast majority of them all went to hell. And only eight souls were saved. Amen. Amen. You've got to get right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Got to get right. They will not endure sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. But they're going to heap to themselves teachers. Having itching ears, they're going to turn their ears away from the truth. Yes, they, will. they won't want it. Amen. Amen. I'm finishing up now. Go to 2 Peter chapter 2. Go to 2 Peter chapter 2. 2 Peter chapter 2. And verse 1. 2 Peter chapter 2. And verse 1. But there were false prophets. There were false prophets. Also among the people. Also among the people. Even as there shall be. Even as there shall be. False teachers. False teachers. Among you. That's what the scripture says. We didn't say it. We never said it. You're trying to go after us. You want to shut us up. Some of you are on your knees praying against us. My God, I never thought I'd see the day when a man could stand for the word of God and people desire to kill you for it. But the scripture said that the time will come when they'll cast you out of the synagogue and say they're doing God's will. This is what the scripture says. The time will come when they will cast you out. They'll throw you out. They'll put you out of the synagogue. And they'll say they're doing God's will. I never thought I'd see the day when there'd be so much wickedness in the church. People who are supposed to be in God hate you for preaching the word in its fullness. People that have long since said that they're right are now standing against those that preach the word in its fullness. People that you once looked up to and thought they were somebody in God are fighting against the word of God. Don't want the word. Kill all of what's inside of them. That lustful life they've been living. My God, I never thought I'd see the day when people who you thought were in God are standing against the word of God and denying the very Christ that brought them. Amen. The scriptures are being fulfilled. Amen? Amen. They are being fulfilled. I want you to go to Luke 17. Luke chapter 17 and verse 26. I'm going to finish up now. Luke 17 and verse 26. And read that for me. Luke chapter 17. Verse 26, read that for my brother. And as it was in the days of Noah, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. You better remember now that back in the days of Noah, Noah was warning the people, and they would not take heed. They did not believe what Noah said. They don't believe us now. When we tell them Jesus could come today, they count us fools. I heard a man who had changed the scripture tell me, uh, people will count you a fool if you don't recognize that the scriptures contradict themselves. I said, brother, they can call me a fool until they die. 
but I'm going to stick to the word of God. And I'm going to continue to believe that what, it, what is written is what is written. And what is written was written for me. Amen. The things that were written before time were written for our learning. Come on, brother. You and the brother said you don't believe the word of God. And he's right. Yes. Amen. You and the brother said the same thing. The scripture contradicts itself. No, it does not. Amen. What, what good is it to us? If it's a contradictory book, what use is it? It has no, no use to us. Amen. There's no contradictions in it. Only time you think it contradicts itself is when you're not saved. You're not filled. You have no way of interpreting it. You don't understand what's in it. And the scripture said you're ever learning, but you're never coming into the full knowledge of the truth. Come on. God did not open your understanding. Read on there, brother. Luke 17, verse 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be. So, so shall it be. Also, also in the days of the Son of Man. In the days of the Son of Man. They did eat. They did eat. They drank. They drank. They married wives. They married wives. They were given in marriage. They were given in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came. And the flood came. And destroyed them all. And destroyed them all. Likewise. Likewise. Also. Also. As it was in the days of Lot. As it was in the days of Lot. They did eat. They did eat. They drank. They drank. They bought. They bought. They sold. They sold. They planted. They planted. They built it. But the same day, the that, same day that Lot went out, that Lot went out of Sodom, of Sodom, it rained fire, it rained fire and brimstone, and brimstone from heaven, from heaven, and God. destroyed them all, and destroyed them all. God bless you, brother. So you can see that we're living in a time when people don't believe the church anymore. Go with Revelation chapter twenty verse eleven. We're wrapping up now. Revelation twenty verse eleven. Revelation twenty verse eleven. Wrapping up right now. And, and I saw a great white throne. And I saw the great white throne. And him that sat on. And it, him that sat on it. From whose face? From whose face? The earth. The earth and heaven. And heaven fled away. away. We don't, brother. And there was found no place for. There them. was found no place for them. For those of you that think the world is going to go on forever, you're foolish. The scripture said it's going to melt with the fervent heat. It's going to be burned up and everything in it. Nothing's going to be left. So we don't, brother. And I saw the dead. And I saw the dead. Small and great. Small and great. Stand before God. Stand before God. And the books were open. And the books were open. And another book was open. And another book was open. Which is the book of life. Which is the book of life. Read on, brother. And the dead were judged. And the dead were judged. Out of those things. Out of those things. Which were written. Which were written. In the books. In the books. According. According to their work. That's what the scripture said. The scripture said, the words that I speak shall judge you in the end. Amen. The words that he has spoken. Remember, Jesus is the word. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. He is the word. The same words that he has spoken. And those that have spoken of him shall judge you in the last day. Finish up, brother. Amen. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. The sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And death and hell delivered up the dead, dead which were in them. And they were judged. And they were judged. Every man. Every man. According to their works. According to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. This is the second death. And whosoever. And whosoever was not, was not found written in the book of life. The book of life. Was cast into the lake of fire. Amen. You heard what it said. Amen. We begin and end. Acts 2, 38. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission, that is the removal of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, for the promises unto you and to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord your God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exalt, saying, Save yourselves from this unto all. Is hell bound generation. God bless you to hear for us again in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and soon coming King. Amen. When Jesus lived, Jesus lived, yes, he lived for me.
When Jesus died, Jesus died, when he died for me. When Jesus rose, Jesus rose, yes, he rose for me. When Jesus comes, Jesus comes, he will come for me. Oh, when Jesus comes, Jesus comes, he will come for me. One more time. When Jesus lived, Jesus lived, yes, he lived for me. When Jesus died, Jesus died, yes, he died for me. When Jesus rose, Jesus rose, yes, he rose for me. When Jesus comes, Jesus comes, he will come for me. Oh, when Jesus comes, Jesus comes, he will come for me. For you are great. Today, remember those that wanted to be here but could not be here. 